What's up? But it's Rob. This is Apparel Success. And what you're looking at right now is a video of me from about a year and a half ago, back when I had all the inventory at my place and I was packing all the orders for my own clothing brand. And this is me with a GoPro mounted to my head, packing about 50 orders for my clothing brand in the room that I stored all the inventory in. And you know, I was looking at this video just on my computer and I thought, man, why don't I just share this on the YouTube channel? It's so raw. It's me literally just like packing orders for my brand nonstop. And I'm sure there's a lot of you who would just kind of want to watch this, just kind of maybe pick up on some things if you've never done this before. And, you know, I can sort of talk you through where I was at at the time versus things that I'd change that I'm doing here. And let's just chill out and hang out and pack some orders together. So, you know, back then when I was packing orders, as you can see, I'm using a tape gun. Um, I eventually moved to using custom tape that I ordered from Sticker Mule, which I highly recommend using and which I'm also not being paid to share with you. You can order custom tape that has like your logo printed on it and I recommend using that. I also used to write on post-it notes because what I do is I'd print out all the labels for like all 50 orders that I was packing at once and then the only way that I'd know which orders to put those labels on was when I put post-its on the orders that I was packing. So that's why I'm using the post-its there. Looks like this order's for a couple hoodies here. And let's see what I do with it. I'm gonna flip her open here. Put the old hood down on the table. Look at me go. Um, kind of funny too. Yeah, you can see me <laughs> trying to rub out something that was on the hoodie there. Maybe like a fingerprint or something. And um, since this video two years ago, I've bagged everything now. So everything's bagged and nice and sealed. And, you know, you just, these are growing pains. Watching these videos kind of cringy actually watching me do this. But, um, yeah, I mean, take a close look. If you've never folded a hoodie before, this is a really good way to fold it. I'll show you here. Oh, taking off some more fluffs. You lay it on its stomach and then you fold the hood in like that. One sleeve. Watch, I'm going to go one sleeve here other sleeve, then side, other side, then right over the top. That's just a great way to fold a hoodie for a box. And um, yeah, man, this is, this is just crazy to watch. Since this video, I have switched to um, having all of my orders packed by my friend's company out of, out of Toronto. I live in British Columbia in Canada. And so now I have a fulfillment team that actually packs and fulfills all the orders for me. Everything's super systematized. It's all barcodes and it's all way more professional. But this is like back when I was just roughing it, man. And I actually like I have moments just watching this where it's so nostalgic for me just because I used to put on jams and just listen to music, maybe have some friends over and you just kind of get into a flow. And, you know, even though it took up so much of my time, which is eventually why I ended up switching to using a fulfillment company, it was just such a nice moment, man. You just like spend some time in the room alone, packing orders, listening to music. Time kind of flies by in a good way. It's like you just you just get sort of into your feels and it was just such a good vibe. So I'm kind of nostalgic of this, just watching it. And um, I can see on the laptop there that, this is before I switched to using Shopify. This is back when I used to use Wix. I can just tell by looking at that laptop. And uh, I eventually switched to Shopify because uh, Wix didn't really work with this new fulfillment company that I went with. There was like this app that I needed to use and I could only do that with Shopify. These lint rollers, I highly recommend getting lint rollers if you're packing orders at home and especially if you're not bagging your stuff just to get rid of all the fluffs on all your clothing and things. They're absolutely essential. And believe it or not, I went a couple years without using lint rollers and things like that. So um do want to take a second to thank my buds over at Design Crowd, the sponsor of this channel. Um, I use Design Crowd for a whole bunch of the designs of my own brand. And honestly, some of them are the best-selling designs on my website. So if you're not that good with designs, you can head over to designcrowd.com forward slash apparel to get the special offer that I have for you or just use the discount code apparel. And if you don't want to, you can just keep watching me pack orders here. So look at how sick that uh, the custom packaging is, man. There's, there's, something, there's something about the... Uh, Custom poly millers that are just so dialed. They look so good. So I'd, uh, yeah, I'd put fit a hoodie in there. That's a coaster and a sticker. 
So the one is an O for sure bud coaster because my clothing brand's all for rural Canada. And then uh, I chuck in one sticker with those as well. Basically, whatever accessories I had just laying around because I'd order stickers and coasters and sometimes I'd run out of certain things. I'd just throw in some free items. And I did that, you know, the, the customers weren't actually ordering those items. I just did that because I love the thought of like, wow, look at this package coming in the mail. It's got the custom packaging with a sticker and a coaster thrown in extra. And uh, yeah, man, it's just, uh, it's just, it just adds such a better experience. And, you know, you can see all the inventory on the sides there. Um, in this house, like this is a bedroom that I was just using as a as an inventory room. And I kept all the extra inventory. So there was like a full garage at the back of this house that I was renting that had all, like it was full to the top of hoodies and t-shirts. And as the levels would get down in this room, I'd go out to that garage and I'd, and I'd get the boxes for all the inventory that I just sold out of and refill the room. So it was like, <laughs> it's, it's so sloppy to look at, but man, like, I don't have anything to hide here. I'm sure some of your rooms look just like this. or You know, these are just mistakes or things that... It's just the grind, man. This is the real deal. You know, you're trying to grow. People place orders and, you know, you got to get them out. And so you're you're working at it. And, uh, you know, I'll show you as this video ends just sort of what the room looks like after uh, 50 orders have been packed. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Those tape guns. So this was an order for a, t a tank top and a hoodie. Those fit nicely into that box. There's 10 inches by eight inches by six inches. They're really good for like a hoodie and a t-shirt or like a hoodie and a tank top or just a single hoodie or something like that. Um, you can also see on that box there that there's that, there's that stamp. This is before I got the custom tape. I used to use these stamp blocks. I had a custom stamp block made for my clothing brand and then I just... I just stamped the ever-loving shite out of those boxes before I made them. Just to add a little bit of extra branding on there. Where am I going here? I'm going for a Just Giver hoodie with the back print. I'm gonna absolutely nail it here. Checking to make sure the size is right, flipping the thingies down, pulling off a little fluff action. Fold, fold, flippity doo -dah day, flippity ding-dong doodle over the top, <laughs> bang, bang, bang the drum. I'm gonna put it in the old poly bag here. Oh man, what an era. I miss this. This was so much fun, but not really, but it was. <laughs> uh, look at this mess I had too, eh? Yeah, you know what I really want you to get just from watching this is that like, you know, customers don't really realize that behind the scenes, like running the business is like a completely different look than what it actually looks like on the front half, you know, like everything looks great on the website and everything is at the, at, from the customer's experience, this just arrives at their door in the nice poly bag and everything's great, right? But behind the scenes as the business owner, you know, you're like frantically trying to pack orders and answer customers and handle refunds and handle exchanges and organize everything. And so it does get a little bit crazy. Now, if there's one thing that I'd change, if I could go back in time to this moment two years ago when I was packing orders like this, the biggest thing would be I'd have everything bagged. You know, it's not that any of this is dirty. You know, it came right in from my screen printer that I ordered from. Um, out of Toronto in the boxes everything's good it's just things collect fluffs from other hoodies and things get you know there's just like little things that f pop up in a room and so everything now that I send out being bagged is just so much cleaner and you just don't even need to use this lint roller and the customer's experience is better I think it's just worth like you know the extra 20 cents a, a hoodie or 10 cents a hoodie or whatever it'll cost you to bag um, and so just watching this is kind of like cringy to not be uh bagging everything and i'm sure there's some of you thinking that already but um yeah i mean that's why i do this is so that you can sort of see these things and learn from my mistakes and from the things that i struggled through in the first little while growing my brand and even later on like there's just so many things you have to figure out and as a business owner myself you know 
there's it's obviously not just order fulfillment that you're focusing on order fulfillment is is one of those things that you know is almost secondary to getting the sales first and so as the business owner you know for the first 3 or 4 years doing this for my brand what i was focused on mainly was just getting interest like getting orders getting sales and so i mean i'm sure you already know this if you're running your own clothing brand but you know those first couple of years is just it's just so much work just trying to grow a following on social media just trying to get your ads to work on facebook or on tiktok now and so there's just so many different things and mastering all of it all at once you know you don't have to be perfect from the very beginning customers most likely understand especially like if you're branding yourself as a small business and as a sort of like local sensation like I was with my clothing brand they understand that you are a small business and that this is coming from you know a house in a rural area where you're actually packing this thing with your bare hands and it's kind of adds like some value to the experience that they're getting and so um you know, as much as you want to tighten this stuff up and never do anything that's going to ruin the customer's experience, you're doing your best at the very beginning. And for a lot of people starting clothing brands, it's the first business that they ever start that's legit where you actually have orders rolling in like crazy. And um, yeah, you know, just watching this is like, it, it makes you realize like every single one of these orders that I'm packing is for a person that I don't know personally that wants to buy my clothing. And there's something special about when people buy your clothing that's different from if they were to buy a service from you or if, if you were to build them something. Because clothing is about being cool and it's about status and it's about, you know, actually creating a brand. And so when people actually are seeing your brand online and they dig it enough to place an order online and it's coming to their, to their house, man, that's such a cool feeling. And, uh, you know, I get that even just still watching this video, watching me pack orders now that I don't pack orders myself and I have a team of people doing it, it just kind of, you forget and you forget what it's like to actually be that hands-on person that's packing the order for the customer directly. And it really is awesome. And, uh, <laughs> man, that tape gun, the amount of tape that I went through. But that tape gun is ridiculous. And so, you know, I hope maybe I packed enough orders for you that you can kind of get a get a gist of it here. But I want to just quickly jump to this little clip. Just of what the room looked like after I was done packing all the orders. This is what all the hoodies look like on the shelves here. And this is the room that I was working in. And you can just see kind of all the 50 orders there that were going out, all with the post-it notes before I'd actually labeled them. I'd print all the labels at once, and then I'd go through each of these orders, stick the labels on them. And then I had Canada Post come and pick them all up for my place. And that's how they'd all go to their customers. And now what you can see is what it looks like right now, which is that instead of all my inventory being laying around openly on shelves, getting fluffs on everything, not being folded right, developing creases on some of the products and things like that. Everything is nice and bagged right from the screen printing facility that I use and everything's stored in boxes just like this that you can see right now. And when an order comes in, everything's done by barcode so that the actual inventory in the system that we use is up to date perfectly and that there's no mistakes made so we scan everything with barcodes and then when it comes to packing the orders there's a picker and then a packer so somebody's going to go through the warehouse and pick everything that needs to be packed and then there's going to be somebody packing all of the orders and once the orders are all packed everything's labeled and just like what i was doing at my place like you watched in this video packing the orders and then i'd have a uh, carrier like Canada Post come to my place and actually pick up the orders so that I could send them out and then they just pick them up and take them away. Same thing happens here. The carrier comes right to the warehouse, picks up all the orders that were packed and that's how I do it these days except everything is obviously hands off and I'm not getting my hands dirty doing all this which is uh, really great for me because it doesn't take up as nearly as much of my time but you know I was watching this video and it made me nostalgic and I just you know, I want to be open and I want to share what the real experience was and it's it wasn't all pretty and I made a lot of mistakes and I didn't do everything absolutely right, but this was my real grind. This was my hustle and I hope that just by showing you this, 
you know, it gives you some insight and it gives you some inspiration that maybe this looks kind of similar to you. Maybe not everything's in the right place all the time and maybe things are kind of laying around and, uh, you know, you've got some, some wrappers all over the place or some stickers kind of scattered along a table and all that's cool. You're just grinding and you'll figure all of that out. You'll get better and better at that as the years go by. So I hope you enjoyed. And, uh, this is just kind of a unique video idea that I thought I'd put out there. And, um, yeah, I wish you all the best with your clothing brand. And until next time, peace.